I'm Bob Palm. Welcome to Watchtower Remembers. Today we have maybe our most exciting guest we've ever had. He's a little on the uh, mature side, let's put it that way. He's one of my favorite people since I got a chance to know him. And uh, his name is Ted Knob. Ted, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you. I'm just so excited to be here. So I got the opportunity to communicate with you earlier this week via the modem that I have in the community here where I assisted so so joyfully by the nurses that attend to me and I was able to use the modem to reach out to you to tell you the story that I have to share with you Tom Bobs it's, uh, it, uh, it's actually Bob Palm but uh, thank you so much for being here Ted now let, let's get down to it <clears throat> now your grandfather was Fred, none other than brother Frederick Franz, former president of the Watchtower and Bible Tract Society. Your grandfather was Fred Franz Barber. It's true. Jed Knob was my grandfather in the 1920s. Fred, Freddie would come into his shop. We had a shop. My grandfather had a shop. And I was a little boy. And I would hopscotch and skip and play. And my grandpa, he would sometimes on a Saturday morning let me go to the shop with him. And I would stay overnight at the house. And I was there. And I remember one occasion there was someone in in the chair, and my grandfather, Jed Knob, spun him slowly to the right. You know the chairs, the barber chairs. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I think as a young person, that's one of the most exciting parts of going to a barber shop is watching that big throne-like chair spin around. In fact. If you have get a nice enough barber, as I'm assuming your grandfather Jeb was, sometimes he'd let you ride on that. Now, just a couple quick questions. First of all, I don't mean to be rude, but how old are you? I am 111 years old. Wow. Now, you've seen a lot in your lifetime, and, and, and you're telling me that Brother Fred Franz was in the barber shop in approximately the year 1927 or 6? Was 1926 and a half. I'll never forget it. Of 1926. It was July uh, 1926. And I was a small boy and I remember clearly spinning, my, my grandfather spinning the chair around and Fred was so excited about, he had good news about the world and about this world that we live in and how things were going to change. And my grandfather gave him a shave with a lather the straight razor, the leather. And Fred was so happy that my grandfather went with the grain using a straight edge. Wow. Now, what did he, did Fred, did Brother Franz ever become, did he ever say anything really specific about the changes in the world or what in fact, uh, what happened? 
He said the authorities of this world will be no more, and that God's son would rule as king. And what did you think of this message? What, as a young person, you were uh, just a few years old. Did you, did you, what did, what, how did it shape your life? Let's put it that way. I never forgot it. And, and though I did not see Fred again, it motivated me to become a dancer. It motivated me to go to New York City and to work my way up and become a famous, not too famous, dancer. A professional dancer. You know, we've heard a lot of things over the years about Brother Franz uh, in terms of who he's influenced, who he's helped over the thousands of people, experiences. We've heard of how he's helped people. But we've never... We've never heard... Anyone motivated by Fred Franz to become a dancer. And this is certainly... Uh, this might be the best episode that we've ever had. I have... I, I am personally... I, on a personal level, this touches me personally. So, well, thank you for being on the show today. And, uh, you know, I, I would like to have you back. I don't know... We're, we're scheduled for about six months out. Um, I know you're 111, but uh, perhaps we can talk again sometime. We can talk again sometime. I've got the modem. I've got my Skype. And I'm going to keep listening when you have another show, Palms Bob. And we can talk again. I'm happy that I got to call in and tell you my experience about the president of the United, of the, not the United States, of the, the president of the Watchtower and Bible Track Society. And now I met him in my grandfather's barber shop when I was a small boy. And he, the, the strokes that he took down the side of, Fred Franz's face, and I was compelled to, to all of that information and wisdom and follow my dreams and become a dancer. Thank you, Bob Bob. And thank, uh, thank you to Ted. Uh, and again, hopefully we will talk to you soon. Thank you. Good night. You know, every time I do a new episode of Watchtower Remembers, I think, how could I possibly, how could we possibly top the previous episode? Well, we did it again. Thank you for listening to Watchtower Remembers. <laughs>